Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today we've got a lot of activity in the Ridge Rabbitry. We have got three grow outs over here that are way past due harvesting time. So we need to get them out of there so we can get our six kits that are way past weaning out of there with their mama cupcake and into the Taj Mahal of rabbit trees. You know, they got a huge area over here that keeps them out of the elements. They got two stories to play. They got all kinds of food. Um, it's just a great place for the grow outs to grow. So we'll get them over the day. We've also got a special treat. It is time to mate snowball with peppa again so we're going to get a we're going to get a, a harvesting of grow outs we're going to wean some kits and we're going to mate our rabbits again so busy busy day here on the rabbitry i know dispatching rabbits is a very very tough thing to do and we're not going to show that today on ridge life but i am going to describe the method i use i use a, a broomstick method of cervical cervical dislocation and you can use a broomstick actually or we're using a crowbar today and uh, basically you just put the crowbar on the rabbit's neck and you put one foot on, on, on the side on the crowbar and then you can give a swift jerk of the legs and uh, that separates the uh, nerves from the head to the body humanely, very quickly, uh, the rabbit expires and then you can move on to processing your rabbit. So that's what we're gonna do today and we'll meet you back very shortly. The rabbit is quickly dispatched and uh, now it's ready to skin. Since we're not processing a bunch of rabbits today, I don't have a big cooler of ice. If I was doing more than our three, I'd probably have a cooler of ice, especially if it was a, it was a warmer day. Today it's about 50 degrees right now. So um, take that into account if you're gonna be doing a lot of rabbits or it's a very warm day, you wanna have a cooler of ice standing by to put your rabbits in. The materials we're gonna use today to harvest our rabbits, I've got a weigh scale. And this is a, I've done a review of this before, it's perfect for weighing our rabbits. We're gonna see how much they weigh before processing and after processing. We've got a butchering kit. I've got a bucket with a trash bag to put our um, butchered and processed uh, ca uh, carcasses in. And then I've got a bucket to put the scraps in, the intestines and the fur. And I've got a bucket of water. A bucket of water is a very, very important thing. Um, for really for making this a clean process. You want to dip your rabbit in the water, get it wet. That way when you go to skin it, fur doesn't get all inside the meat. It's very, very important. It's a trick you'll, you'll love me for telling you about. So you just dip your rabbit in the water, get it all wet, and then when you go to, uh, to skin it, no fur inside. After humanely dispatching your meat rabbits, we're gonna get them weighed. I'm gonna turn my scale on, get them up here, and see how much they weigh before processing. 6.94 pounds. Again, I went longer than 12 weeks on these. Uh, they'd be closer to five or six at 12 weeks. So almost seven pounds. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of fat on these. When you, when you start growing them past 12 weeks, you don't get much more muscle. You just get a lot more fat. So uh, that's one of the downsides of waiting a little bit too long to process your meat rabbits. You've seen a lot of people meticulously hang the feet up of their rabbit and they start cutting the fur all, all delicately. We're not saving the fur here. We're not saving the pelt. So we don't have to do that. We're going to do this the old fashioned way. The way my grandpa taught me to, um, to uh, skin wild rabbits and squirrel. Uh, since we're not saving the pellet, pelts, we're gonna cut along the back, cut the fur along the back, pull the fur apart, pull the skin right off the rabbit, cut the feet off, cut the head off, cut the tail off, and then we'll take the entrails out. It's ready to go in the bucket. Before we start skinning it though, I wanna get the pelt wet. I wanna get it wet, that way the fur doesn't get all over the uh, carcass and sticks to the, uh, to the outside a lot better. So I just dip it in my bucket, get it wet, let it drip off just a second. Get it up here, there we go. And I'm just gonna get my, my knife. I'm just gonna cut right along the back Get down to the skin level. All right, once I got the skin open, this is real easy. Just pull and tear. Pull and tear all the way around. Pull and tear. So simple, so simple. Now look, got separated, head to toe, all the way down, keeping it off the legs and the fur. And you don't have to be really strong to do this either, everybody. You don't really have to be strong. It just does, it just comes right off. So then you can just get up under the each leg. Get the legs out. 
Do the same thing on this side. It's real easy when it's warm like this. Here we go. Now let's get the rear leg out. Again, just pull. Pull down to the foot. Just keep pulling out. Pull it way down to the foot. There we go. Off the tail. There we go. We'll cut that off. So now once we cleanly got the skin pulled up around each wrist and neck, each leg and tail, I can just chop each piece off. So now to gut our meat rabbit, we're just going to slice along the belly, pull all the entrails out, make sure we get the, uh, the rectal tube out, and this thing will be ready to go in the bucket or on ice if it's a cold day or you're doing a lot of meat rabbits. We've got our meat rabbit processed, now we're ready to get it in the bucket and move on to the next one. Now that we've got our grow outs processed, we can get our kits away from Cupcake. She is done with them. We should have weaned her, uh, these kits at six weeks. We're more like at eight weeks right now, so they're way too big to be in here with, uh, with Cupcake. So let's get them out into the Taj Mahal grow out hutch and uh, watch them be really happy over there. Let's start with everybody's favorite, the broken with the uh, brown. So cute, oh my goodness. This thing is just a gorgeous little rabbit. Okay, I got you, I got you. This thing is gorgeous. Let's get this one over here so y'all can see this beautiful rabbit. Look at these ears. Again, this is a uh, Texas A&M composite. Um, they're bred for very, very warm weather. Um, they can take it just fine. They take the cold weather here in, in West Tennessee perfectly, but the hot summers, these guys take it great. So let's go ahead and get this one, this broken one, taken over to the uh, large grow out hutch. Okay. Let's get you in here. I know you're gonna like it over here. Come on. There you go, new home, new home. Love it. Check it out, buddy, check it out. Huge place for you to run around. Let's go ahead and get your brothers and sisters brought over here. All right, let's do a white one. Cute little white one now. Oh yeah, we got four white ones, a blackish one, and a broken one. Blackish one is beautiful. See the white one? White one with the big, big white eye, uh, red eyes. Look at you. What you doing? You ready to go? Let everybody see you. Big pink ears. Big pink ears. Oh, can get your ears out here. There we go. Big pink ears, red eyes. This is a, uh, again, a, a straight Texas A&M. There you go. Oop, get on there. I got gotcha. you. Another white one. Oh, look at these big old ears. Look at those big old ears. So cute. <laughs> there you go. What's up, Cupcake? You trying to get out? I got you. I got you. Another white one. I got you. Come on. There you go. I got you. I got you. Come on in. There you go. And finally, let's get the blackish one. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. There you go. Make sure we lock this up. We don't want them getting out again, that's for sure. But look at this one. So it's not quite black. You see the color in here? Very gorgeous rabbit. Yeah, you're so cute. So uh, big, big Texas A&M ears. Lots of blood flow in there to keep them nice and cool. And you can see the color. It's blackish and grayish, a little bit of brown in there. You're a gorgeous rabbit. All right, let's get you back in there with your brothers and sisters. There you go. These guys are exploring their new home saying, wow, we got tons of space. I've got the waters taken down. I'm gonna be doing some things to the water as you'll be seeing very soon. Um, do a little more cleaning in here, but uh, they are ready. I gotta get the, the uh, hay feeder, uh, the manger in there for them, but they are loving this new space. Look how they're running around.
Well, I think these guys like their new Taj Mahal rabbit hutch. We've got six in here, much more space than they had in there with Cupcake and that little bitty hutch. Um, again, I was a couple weeks uh, slow in getting them over here, but they love it now. Man, look at this. They gonna love, love, love all this extra space. I need to get their hay manger in here, the extra waters. Again, I got a huge feeder for them. So they'll have more than enough water and feed to make their lives very, very comfortable. They're gonna love this two story too. Jumping up and down, nice soft surface for their feet. Love this guys, they love it, love it, love it. Now that the kits are moved over to their new home, Cupcake's over here enjoying the peace and quiet. How about we give Snowflake a little fun time with old Peppa over here. It's been a while, been a while. Uh, Peppa had a, um, a, a kindling of kits you know, uh, way back last fall. And then of course, Cupcake had these. So now it's time for Peppa to have her fun with Cup with Snowflake. So let's, let's bring Snowflake over right now. What's up, big guy? He's sitting on his tile right there. He likes that tile. See these tiles right here, keep them nice and smooth on their feet, cool in the summertime. Now you always wanna bring the doe to the buck. Does are very territorial. And if you bring your buck over to your doe, she's probably gonna defend her territory, bite him where you don't want her to bite him. You don't want her to bite him anywhere. Um, but if we bring her to him, she's less likely to um, feel um, like she has something to, to defend. And he's, got, he's gonna want to get, to get right down to business. So let's go ahead and get Peppa over here. She's a big old Texas A&M composite. Big old fat girl. She eats like a pig. Oh my gosh. She is so fat. She may be, she may be too fat to breed. But she may be too fat to breed. She is so fat. We feed her a little bit too much. So we'll see if she takes. But uh she's a good, she did she did really well her first time. She didn't pull much hair, she didn't pull much fur like uh, Cupcake did, but she raised all uh, her kits really, really well. So let's go ahead and move her in here. He's gonna go straight to business. Just like that. Good job, Peppa. You got your, Frosty got his five successful fall offs. That's good. Get you covered up here. Back in your home, make you all happy. There you go. Successful mating, hopefully. Now, sometimes, you know, you can get five fall offs like that. And if she's too fat, it won't take. And she's pretty fat, so we'll know here pretty quick at 28 days, I'll start prepping up, you know, the kindling box and uh, sh she should have it right at 30, 31 days. They're pretty regular, rabbits are. Well, we processed three meat rabbits. We uh, weaned our six huge kits, a little bit late for weaning, but uh, we got them over here and they are loving their new digs. And we mated, hopefully successfully, um, Frosty and Peppa five times, five fall offs. So now let's get back to the house and uh, check out the three meat rabbits we processed, get them all cleaned up and weighed and uh, see how much meat we got. We are in the Ridge Farmhouse. We've had our uh, three meat rabbits uh, 
on ice water here in the sink, uh, getting that meat temperature down as quick as possible. You want to, you don't want your uh, meat to sit out in uh, room temperature very long. So get it on, get it as cool as possible, uh, as quick as possible. So now we're going to weigh each of them, see how much the processed carcasses weigh, and then we'll start uh, cleaning them up and getting them ready to put in the freezer. We've got our scale teared. Let's go ahead and pull the first one out. Again, all I did was just rip off some of the, the fat and clean them up a little bit and just stuck them in here. So they have the fat, some of the fat has been taken. These are really fat rabbits. So let's get the first one on there. We have 3.78 pounds for the first one. All right, the second one, let's drain all the water out. We don't want to fake weight here. Tear that out again. 4.26 pounds. And tear that out. And finally, 4.26. Two at 4.26, and we had one little bit smaller. Last step in our butchering process is I'm going to clean them up, get any of the excess fat taken off. I'm going to put them in a pan with a, a very light saltwater brine. Put them in the refrigerator for three or four days and then we will freeze them. Now, a lot of people um, go straight to the refrigerator with them after butchering. Uh, some people like to wet age on, in a cooler of ice with the drain open. Some people like to dry age. Uh, some people like to hang and let it bleed before processing. Um, so whatever you like to do, I like to just get them on ice water, let the blood get out of there, um, keep some cold, keep, keep some cool, not, not frozen. So therefore you get all of the, uh, the stiffness out that sets in immediately a a after they're butchered. L let's them loosen back up again. Then we freeze them and then we can cook them here on the ridge, you know, make a, a smoked rabbit, a fried rabbit, uh, lots of recipes coming up. So hopefully you enjoyed watching us, um, process butcher our three meat rabbits today. We've uh, weaned our six kits, got them over to where the, the larger rabbits were, and then we mated Snowflake and Peppa. So lots, lots, lots going on in the uh, Ridge rabbitry today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please check back. We've got lots more coming from the Ridge. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Ridge Life. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day, and go Ridge Life.